Hey everyone, today's video is a quick one on how to set up your fingerprint to be used for logins and some other items that you can use it for on your MacBook. Oftentimes when you log in and first create your account, it will give you a chance to set it up, but sometimes if you're in a hurry, you may skip over that intending to come back to it later, and then you just can't figure out where to go to set it up. So today's video is just showing you where to go and how to set it up. So let's jump over to my MacBook. First thing you're going to do is go up to the top left hand corner and click on the Apple logo icon. Then you're going to go down to System Settings. On the left hand side you're going to scroll down to Touch ID and Password. Now if you already have a fingerprint there that you want to get rid of, if you hover over it you'll see a little X appears. You can actually click on it and it will delete that fingerprint and you just have to put in your password, if I can actually remember the proper password, and it will delete that fingerprint from your list. So you can go through and delete all the fingerprints if you want, and then if you want to add a fingerprint, you click on Add Fingerprint. It'll ask you for your username and password to just verify that it's you so somebody else isn't setting it up. Then all you need to do is just lightly press your finger against the fingerprint sensor, which is usually the top right key on your keyboard. Make sure you don't push the button, just lightly tap it. And just lift your finger up and down slowly, usually once every second or so. And then after a couple of times, it will let you know that it's all set and you are good to go. And you'll see now that there's a second fingerprint there. Below it, there are some options that you can use. You can use it to unlock your Mac, which is the most common feature and is one of the best features. You can use it for Apple Pay, for purchases in the iTunes store, things like that, for autofilling passwords, and fast user switching. So it's up to you on what you want to enable and what things you want to use it for. Just as a quick aside, if you do have an Apple Watch, if you are wearing your Apple Watch, you can allow it to unlock your Mac for you. So it'll detect that you're near your computer, and if you're wearing your Apple Watch, it'll automatically log you in. Really, really handy feature. So, as I said, today's video is going to be a really quick one. This applies to the Mac OS 13 and 14 versions, which is the Sonoma and Ventura when they updated their system preferences. If you have an older version, it's still the same steps. You'll click on the Apple logo on the top left, you'll see System Preferences, and then just look for that Touch ID and Password, and you can go in and follow the same steps for setting that up. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.